January 19, 2023 Thursday of the second week First reading Hebrew chapter 7 Verses 25 to 8 6 Jesus is always able to save those who Approach God through him since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The main point of what has been said is this. We have such a high priest, who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle that the Lord, not man, set up. Now every high priest appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices, thus the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are those who offer gifts according to the law. They worship in a copy and shadow of the heavenly sanctuary, as Moses was warned when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For God says, See that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain." Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant, enacted on better promises. Responsorial Song Here am, Lord, I come to do your will. Gospel Mark chapter 3, verse 7 to 12 Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Eldamea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon degree he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many and, as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. Reflection A large number of people came to him. The Gospel narrates Jesus being very active and successful in his ministries of healing, teaching, and driving out demons. People from all over come in order to experience his power. He and his disciples have to be very creative in order to meet the excessive demand. We imagine, then, that Jesus became very popular. People must have been so grateful to him and saw him as indeed the promised Messiah. All of this However, we know to be fleeting because in his moments of crisis, when attacked by his enemies, 
these people who benefited from or witnessed his power would nowhere to be found and, perhaps, would even be allied with his enemies. Many times we human beings are like that. In moments of crisis we let go of our principles instead of fighting or dying for them. We change our allegiances as fast as situations change, becoming traitors or betrayers in the process. The basic tenet of existentialist philosophy is to live for oneself, make one's own choices, and not allow the crowd to influence them. Being Christians espousing that philosophy means standing up for Christ and his values even if one ends up being alone in the fight. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. 